The best method of learning the basics of Revit is by analyzing the existing sample projects, which we have with the uh, Revit installation. Here I have sample architectural projects, sample structural, plumbing, electrical, HVAC. If you don't see that, uh, you can find those sample files in your installation folder. In my case, this is drive E, Revit 2026, and there should be a folder called samples. So here we have all those files ready to be used. If you don't have them, you can also download them through the browser, through the internet browser, just simply Google sample Revit project. This is how they look like. And let's start with sample architectural project. Opening of a file may take a while depending on the size of the file. We can verify the size of this particular project by looking, looking it up in the Windows directory. Here we have Snowdon Towers sample architectural, which is 95 megabytes, which is not a lot. Large projects can go up to 300 or even more megabytes. So it's a value that we need to think about when we are uh, designing, because if we, if we, um, if the file would be too big, it would be impossible to navigate and use the model. But this is something for more advanced user, maybe a BIM manager. But I'm just saying that um, the value, the size of the file, it actually may affect your performance. During this course, I will give you some additional tips on how to maintain good quality of model. And this is one of the factors, keeping it as low as possible. Before we go into uh, dissecting the Revit interface, I will give you the general idea on the elements that it's built of. So first we have quick access toolbar, which is above the ribbon currently. Then we have ribbon itself, properties panel, project browser. And if we go to view by double clicking, for example, on L1 in project browser, we have additional visual bar settings and selection settings. In future lessons, we will go through these sections in more detail.